Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, you guys? This is Joseph Conlon coming to you with your WWE Super Showdown, aka Super Letdown, um, preview and predictions video. Um, I'm gonna go over the card that is happening on the show. Uh, seven matches have been announced. Uh, more could be announced uh, before Thursday afternoon at 12 o'clock. Um, it's during the day, so. Probably gonna watch the show when I get home from school, and um, probably be here with a review for you guys for that show on Sunday afternoon. So if you could, if you could tune in on Sunday afternoon for Super Showdown predict, uh, pre uh, review, I'd I'd appreciate that. But we're gonna run down the card. I don't got much time. I got lots of homework I gotta do tonight, and now is my time to do the preview and predictions for you guys. But before I talk about preview and predictions, um, make sure you guys go check out last week's News and Rumors video. I talk about the WWE uh, possibly selling all the pay-per-view rights to ESPN Plus. Why? That is a terrible company decision. If you can check that out, I'd very much appreciate that. I don't want to waste any much time. Uh, let's start it with the Super Showdown predictions. Talking about the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, where The Miz and John Morrison will challenge the New Day for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. When this match was first announced, I thought that Miz and Morrison were going to win the tag team titles in this match because they were the hot hand at that point. And it seems like after the past couple weeks, um, their momentum has gone down. And they really don't have much momentum right now. They're losing steam as a tag team. And we just had a segment on SmackDown this week that, te that teased the New Day versus the Usos for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships again at WrestleMania. So I can't, I don't see the, the New Day losing this match here. Uh, I'm going with the New Day to beat Miz and Morrison and to retain the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And we'll get the New Day and the Usos at uh, WrestleMania, more than likely. Let's talk about the, the Tawake, Tawak, whatever you want to call it. Mountain Trophy it means something in Saudi Arabia. They said it last night, like fighting or something like I I wasn't paying attention. But we got AJ Styles, Andrade, Bobby Lashley, R-Truth, Eric Rowan, and Rey Mysterio, who is filming... Uh, filling in for Rusev. It seems like Rusev is having contract problems still uh, with the WWE. Either that or he just didn't want to make the trip, to, the trip to Saudi Arabia. I'm not really sure. But uh, who's going to win this match? Uh, I could see Andrade winning this match since he's the United States champion. But I don't see that happening. I see AJ Styles as much as uh, like other people. Uh, I see AJ Styles getting the victory right here, winning this 2 ache trophy, because it seems like that he's going to be in a big marquee match uh, at WrestleMania. I thought it was going to be Aleister Black. He attacked Black last night on Monday Night Raw, but that only set up a match for uh, next Monday on Raw, and not at WrestleMania. But that match itself... Uh, deserves a proper build and a proper storyline and that would be a perfect match to kick off Wrestlemania in my opinion but it looks like we're not getting that and we're going to be getting um, AJ Styles versus The Undertaker I heard a, I heard that Meltzer said today that um, Undertaker uh, took the flight to Saudi Arabia and it looks like he'll have a key role on the show and it'll more than likely be setting up his match at Wrestlemania against AJ Styles. I see Styles winning the, tr the trophy and an Undertaker coming out excuse me and setting up a match with AJ Styles at Wrestlemania. Um, <sighs> Steel Cage Roman Reigns Baron Corbin Feels like we've been seeing these guys face for five decades. Five decades, it feels like we've been seeing these guys fight. 
Roman Reigns is winning the steel cage match. There's no way in hell they're going to have Corbin win, especially during WrestleMania season, when Roman Reigns is more than likely going to be in one of the bigger matches at WrestleMania. Uh, we'll talk about it later. But I don't care about this match. And I'm going to go with Roman Reigns to beat Baron Corbin. And then this feud, once and for all, as it should have ended at the Royal... It should have ended in December, but realistic, I, I guess you could have ended it at the Royal Rumble, but they decided not to. I don't know why, but hopefully it stops here. I, I hope it stops here. And the fact that it, it, it's a steel cage match, I think this could be one of the most boring steel cage matches we've seen in a long time. They put on a boring TLC match, a boring Falls Count Anywhere match, and they're probably going to put on a boring-ass steel cage match. I'm going with Roman Reigns to win. Naomi will challenge Bailey for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship in Saudi Arabia. Um, the more logical option would go would be to go with Bailey, And I... That's why I'm going with Bailey for the more logical option for her to win and for Sasha Banks to win the Elimination Chamber next Sunday and to go on to WrestleMania and challenge Bailey for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That's what I think is going to happen because if Carmella won this past Friday, I think they would have been doing Naomi and Bailey at WrestleMania. Now that they're doing it at uh, Super Showdown, I don't see Naomi winning the championship here. I'm going with Bailey to retain. And, you know, they could do the swerve. They could do the swerve where they do, um, you know, a women's championship change in Saudi Arabia. It would make history, too. And it would, it would uh, get people talking about WWE, too, I feel like. They could do it. They could do it. The Raw Tag Team Championship match with the Street Profits versus Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. There's one match on this card that I think could be a match of the night, which is very odd on these awful Saudi Arabia shows. I'd go with this one. I feel like the Street Profits are really good wrestlers, even though their characters, uh, the way they're being uh, scripted on Raw, is sucks. And you got Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy, who are two uh, really good wrestlers. They did tease a little tension, I guess, between Rollins and Murphy when um, Rollins broke up the pinfall from Angelo Dawkins on Raw last night to stop that match. But, I mean, now that Samoa Joe is injured... You don't really have that much options for your tag team champions. I originally thought they were going to do Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy for the Raw Tag Team Ch Championships at WrestleMania. But now Samoa Joe is injured, and I heard today he's suspended. So, I don't know. I'm going to go with... I'm going to play safe, and I'm going to go with Rollins and Murphy to retain the tag team titles. I don't feel confident on that one. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with Rollins and Murphy to retain the tag team titles. WWE Championship match. Brock Lesnar versus Ricochet. Um, I feel like Brock Lesnar should absolutely kick the shit out of Ricochet. Uh, no more than five minutes. No more... Then five minutes, Ricochet does not deserve to be in the ring with Brock Lesnar. He's not a worthy challenger for Brock Lesnar. This does nothing for Ricochet, in my opinion, because he's basically only got wins over Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, who are both losers. And Ricochet is going to go in. Uh, he's going to get his ass kicked. And Brock Lesnar is going to go on to WrestleMania to face... Drew McIntyre for his WWE Championship. Enough of Brock Lesnar and Ricochet. Um, and what they do with Ricochet WrestleMania, I don't, I don't really know. So we'll see what happens then. Probably the Battle Royal, I would guess. 
Probably the Battle Royal. Main event. The headliner. The match that everybody has been talking about for the past few weeks. For the Universal Championship. Bill Goldberg versus The Fiend. Bray Wyatt. Now, I originally thought when this was first announced, I was okay with it. Because Goldberg is just going to go in there, get his Saudi Arabia paycheck, lose to The Fiend, and disappear. Disappear again. But now, there's speculation going around that Bill Goldberg is going to win the Universal Championship from The Fiend at Super Showdown. Roman Reigns is going to win the Elimination Chamber, and and it's going to set up... Roman Reigns versus Bill Goldberg for the Universal Championship um, at WrestleMania while John Cena, no, while The Fiend faces John Cena. And then there were rumors that, you know, John Cena was going to face Elias at WrestleMania. And we were back to Roman Reigns and The Fiend. I really don't know what they're going to do. Um, if The Fiend doesn't win, it would have been a complete waste of momentum ever since the Firefly Funhouse has started, and, you know, he should win. He should beat Bill Goldberg easily, but... I I don't I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I'm going with Bill Goldberg to um win the Universal Championship from Bray Wyatt and it will be spear versus spear. Goldberg versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania and we'll get John Cena Versus Bray Wyatt. That's that's my super showdown predictions for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Big Fight Field channel. We got lots and lots of content up for you guys this week. We've got to have AEW Dynamite for you tomorrow night. That should be a great show. NXT is in jeopardy once again. And I don't want to say that, but it's in jeopardy again. Because, you know, schoolwork is kicking my ass. Once again this week, I got an a English test um, on Friday on this book called The Great Gatsby. It, it's ass. I don't want to study for it, but I'm probably going to have to. So we'll see what we do about NXT um, on Thursday. Friday, AEW Revolution predictions. Um, Saturday night, AEW Revolution uh, review. We'll go over the show. And then Sunday, I'll be back here on the channel for your Super Showdown review. Show I'm talking about right now. Um, like this video with a super kick. Comment down below your, your WWE Super Showdown predictions. Um, share this video on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, at Joseph Collin. Follow Eddie on Twitter, at Eddie Mullins 515 and I'm getting out of here. I got some schoolwork to do. And I'll be back on the channel tomorrow night for your AEW Dynamite review from Kansas City. Have a good night, guys.